Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. We're back at, uh, at the Ottoman Empire run, and I've taken some time to just kind of figure out uh, whether or not we're going to do this positivism thing. Um, I talked to y'all about it. The consensus is uh, no. So let's go ahead and return to the Positivist Church event. Riza Orz Ozal, a student of the philosophy of positivism, has founded the Positivist Church of the Ottoman Empire in Eastern Thrace. The church's event, uh, events have become a meeting place for positivist intellectuals. Pamphlets flitted from hands and into the streets of a new church. One side promises the end of moral anarchy. The other heralds a new age of emancipation through learning. Armchair scholars, actual scholars, clerks and bankers alike found a forward-thinking ideal, an ideal of progress as a goal, order as a foundation, and love as a governing truth. Options are an intriguing institution that strengthens the petite bourgeois and uh, gives extra radicals from standard of living decreases, but also uh, education access and qualifications in Eastern Thrace, or alternatively, another eclectic short-lived cult this is half the bonuses, half the extra radicals, and makes the petite bourgeois mad. Uh, I'm going to do the second one, because we've chosen to stay with center Islamism. So, no, Islamic uh, representativism. So, uh, one thing I do want to look into... Yeah, I'm not involving myself. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's going to be a big war. It's gonna be it's gonna be a general European war. Oh boy, I think they're all gonna fight. That's wild. So one thing I've been meaning to look into, or I should have been looking into, uh, is getting some automation going because I'm kind of short on labor in a lot of these places. I don't have the coal right now to do automation for manufacturing. Oh my goodness! All right, hold on. Sorry. Let me just make sure my uh, government is still good. Yep, government's still looking good. Can't get above 76, but I'm at 76, which, you know, that's that's pretty solid. Alright, so, uh, one thing I can do is get uh, a lot of these. We, are, we do have tools on these ones. Is this wise? I don't think so. It says these are going to be more profitable, but I don't think that's necessarily the case. Um, let's do... Let's work on automating some of these mines. So some of these places, Cypress, Crete, Fars, Somaliland. Let's check if those places have their own railways. They do. I think, I think that's, okay, hold, hold on, let me, let me check again, make sure, okay, Cypress is good, Crete is good, Fars is over here in Persia somewhere, I could just look it up using the lookup system, but where's the fun in that? Yes, okay, so all these places have a railway, so it should be fine. Let's go ahead and press that button. Wait. You just say... This was going to be profitable? It was for the wineries. Yeah, it's going to be fine. What about... Lead mines, it's going to be fine. Sulfur mines, no. Iron mines, definitely yes. Coffee plantations? No. Oh, these places are not automated yet. Definitely get the coffee automated. Um, we can sell coffee, because we've certainly got a bunch of it now. Bengal buys coffee, and the Netherlands buy coffee. And then... What else can we automate? Cotton plantations? Those like it? Ooh, not... Maybe not that much. Dye plantations? No, certainly not. Opium plantations? No. Although, again, opium surely will be more profitable. Uh, tobacco? Absolutely. 
sugar. Engines are quite expensive. I haven't created an engine shortage in my market, have I? No, but we're getting there. Inefficient agriculture event, this time in Cecily. Uh, or Thessaly, rather. Um, the industrialists are very pleased. I don't feel the need to shake the boat. Rock the boat. Um, let's get down to our other plantations. Banana plantations, these will actually be more profitable. If we do this, I don't know why... I don't know why everything's getting so difficult in Cyprus. Does Cyprus not have a port? Oh god, please, please have a port. You have a port. All right. Whew. Nearly a problem. What's going on with local prices here? It's only engines. It's only engines that are bananas. <coughs> Weird. Um, and then... We'll do... Oh, these oil rigs should be publicly traded. Fishing wharves probably as well. Yep. Those are on steam trawlers. Can't do that yet. I'm not producing any hardwood. How am I not producing any hardwood? What's my... Hold on. <coughs> my furniture manufacturers are using hardwood, though. Where am I getting my hardwood from? Someone's got to be producing... Well, freaking... Not, not me, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone in this market's producing hardwood. Gosh darn it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Alright, so that's about... Our plantations? Certainly not. Logging camps? No. Silk plantations? No. Sugar plantations? A little bit. Can't automate those ones yet. T. T ones are good. And opium. Okay, so. Now the question is. Well, first of all. Fully subsidize the railways. I see. So this this is where we can see the prices. Um... All of my states have transport, but where can I see where I'm short? Is there a way to do that? Because that's the thing that I'm concerned about here. Wait, hold on. I know this. Um, local prices, transport. So, where do we have a problem? Matruh, Baghdad, Arabistan, Fars... Bashar, Khorasan, and Mazandran. Plus a couple of places in Greece. Uh, Attica and... Th Attica and the Ionians. Alright, so... Attica, the Ionians, Matruh, and Baghdad. We'll start there. So Attica... Oh, that's Greece. I don't know that. That's not mine. Her. Not sure if I'm bagged out. <clears throat> a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a little bit of a slip there. A little bit of a, a uh, little bit of an Ottoman slip there. Um, <laughs> all right, Arabistan, Fars, uh, Mazandran, and Khorasan. So we'll build in those zones, and then anywhere else. Not really. Okay, all right. We're doing good on transit overall. And then the next thing we're going to need is more steel to produce more engines. The private sector is already building plenty of steel. Where have I got labor available? Not a lot of places. Albania. And then we'll do engine motor industries as well.
Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Isfahan. Isfahan means motor industries. There we go. All right, and now we've got an event. Another Raising Concerns event. The Intelligentsia are mad about the Industrialists. Uh, industrialists are pretty happy with me, but so are the Intelligentsia. Propagandists is really good. Um, this needs to be addressed. Don't want to lose power off of my strongest uh, faction here. All right. So the other thing I want to cue in is I think it seems clear to me after our performance in our last war that we require a military expansion both to make us stronger and also to uh, keep us relevant. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to get rid of this army. And are we good for generals? Yes. <clears throat> Eighth Ottoman army just needs a few additional units. So we'll throw down some barracks in these zones. A couple here, and then a few units of trench infantry. Or, sorry, siege artillery, rather. Sixth Ottoman army can definitely do with <coughs> an increase. Lancers are 30 offense, 20 defense. Artillery, 55 offense, 30 defense. Yeah, man. Um, we'll go with a few more units of lance, but... Actually, one fewer in Isfahan here. There's... Hold on, I'm still getting used to this interface. Um, but the majority are going to be infantry and artillery. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do another ten artillery here. Uh, Khorasan is a good state with a lot of labor in it. So Baghdad and Basra are fully employed at this point. Arabistan has labor available. That's nine. We need one more. Let's put it in Isfahan. All right. Practicing positivists. <clears throat> the philosophy of positivism is spread beyond the positivist church, with many engineers, academics, and officers adopting its scientific principles in order to fulfill their reformist ambitions. Natural law was one of the first things to go under this, to go under this new judge. One gavel stroke and thus ended any claims to the naturalness of any man seeking recompense for damaged goods. If there was no explicit command from governance to do so, it was no law to be followed. Merely guidelines to be interpreted until commands are set forth. Interesting. A great benefit to the reformist cause. Extra progress and more likely to have positivist characters. Extra progress for the positivists. And there are surely more reasonable forms for politics. Uh... Positivist characters slightly more likely to appear. Now influence the positives will retreat by 10. We're doing the second one. Get out of here, positivism. And actually, um, I'm not going to do this yet. Available again in one year. Well, it could be. It could be a useful thing to do. <clears throat> Meanwhile, though, we got this guy uh, who's agitating for a technocracy. He's, uh, he's... Oh, I can't. I don't... I've already... Mm, sadness. Very sad. So, let's get some more uh, army build-up happening here. We definitely need more artillery in this army. So, let's see. Where have we got labor? Mm, not a lot of places. At least not a lot of places in the West. We got some. In, we got we got some folks uh, willing to fight for money in Bulgaria, so we'll definitely work on that. <coughs> that says fifty and twenty-five. That should be substantive. This is Rumeli Ordusu. and Adolo Ordusu, We definitely need uh, a few more units of infantry, so we'll 
build some more barracks in uh, Iran here. <clears throat> and then let's even out our numbers for conscription centers. Just get that done. And then we need, I want five more units of Lancers. And then five more units of artillery. We'll put those here in Mazanderan. I can just use the shift key. I don't know why I'm doing this like this. Alright, so that means uh, Anadoro Ordosu and Romeli Ordosu are both going to be composed the same way. And we'll do the same with uh, the Constantine Ordosu. So, uh, we need some more Lancers. Plenty in Tabriz. Uh, plenty of labor available in Tabriz. Their son has some. Uh, Isfahan has plenty. And then... That's Lancer, Siege Artillery, and then Trench Infantry. Uh, we'll pull those out of Khorasan. I think it's Khorasan with a kh, but I'm not sure. I know it's a, I, I, I am making it up. I don't speak any Farsi. Um, but it is what it is. We're still upgrading our uh, our infantry conscripts over here. All right. And then Hasa Ordesu, I think we're actually going to do the same. Um, we got a bunch of labor available in Lower Egypt. So let's recruit folks from there. Let's even out our conscript artillery here. Right, and then we need a bunch more infantry. So, we'll get five more battalions in Bulgaria. We'll get five in Tabriz, five in Luristan. And we're going to need 10 more. We'll get 10 more from Isfahan. <clears throat> All right, and that should be... I don't mean these armies are, are basically similarly composed. Um, and we'll go ahead and... So, and these are, these are going to be sufficient ratios. So what does that mean for our conscripts? Because I, I think I want to equalize those as well. Let's do... Let's do 30 and 15, I think, is the right composition. So I'll drop this back. And a Dolo Ordesu, we're going to need five more, so let's pull those from Baghdad. Uh, Romeli Ordesu is good to go. Is that Dolo Ordesu? No, no conscript cavalry. Constantine Ordesu, uh, we're going to need eight more battalions of conscript infantry. So we'll put those... Uh, we'll put two in Eastern Thrace. And... Don't want to lean too hard on Albania right now. Um, what kind of... Do we have labor available here in Yemen? We do. Cool. Um, so, one, two, three... Five should suffice. Yep. And then that puts us at twenty. <clears throat> we got a lot of siege artillery conscripts in this army, so we'll dial that back. Um, and then we'll throw in more uh, just in general around Western Persia. That'll get us up to thirty and fifteen. And then for the 6th Ottoman army, we got 20 and 10, and that's probably sufficient. So, what that means... So that means 293, 234, but let's, let's continue to expand here. Um, and meanwhile... Let's build up some of these fleets a, a little bit. We can definitely use more monitors... I don't, I don't think having these be balanced is great, but, uh, you know, it's what I'm doing right now. 
Uh, so we'll get we'll get those ones, and then for our second fleet, these are exclusively monitors and ironclads. We get a nice even amount on those. That should be fine. Uh, we got plenty of labor available in FARS, so we'll increase monitors and ironclads there. And that'll give us plenty of uh, construction to do. And we're already getting work on building barracks, so that makes things pretty good. Uh, standard of living is still going up. Our rank has dipped a little bit just below Italy, but I'm hoping that with this increase in our overall um, military position that we'll be able to get ahead of that and not have a problem. The Intelligentsia petitioned the government. Representing his constituents in the Intelligentsia, Kevad Yalaz has issued a formal petition to the Ottoman government to pass property to women. Er, yes, one last matter for the day, sir. Members of your constituency arrived this morning. They're asking rather loudly and insistently if you would meet them about new legislation. Was well, that it? Goodness, you seem as if you've seen a ghost. I'm sure we can spare the last hours of light for them, can't I? I believe so, sir. They weren't taking no for an answer. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I think this time we're doing it. Uh, pretty much no one is against this in our society. This is going to help uh, make a lot of people happy. The local governors obviously are going to be salty about it, but they're salty about everything that doesn't suck. So uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy overall with this situation. Let's um. And these motor industries are going to take forever, but we're still we're still working on this other stuff. How is investment pool still empty? I'm not. My industries are not as profitable as I would like, and we're still brutally short on telephones. How could such a thing happen? All right, here's combustion engine. Um, this unlocks a bunch of things that are excellent, including uh, truck transport and motorized recon for our barracks, um, which is monstrously strong. Uh, if the government is okay with buying cars, which it should be. So let's take a look at what those options are. Uh, transportation, rail, transportation, recon... So motorized recon, yeah, this is oil and automobiles. Wow, that's a lot of oil and automobiles, too. Um, and then transport, truck transport, and this is... All right, so we need to get some of our... We're going to get some of our motor industries producing automobiles for use by the government. Let's do the ones in Eastern Thrace. Uh, yeah, let's do it. This is going to produce 250 automobiles. So we'll get started with that. And then we'll put... Let me see. We'll start with motor recon. Battle occupation, formation speed, and surprise maneuver chance is quite strong. So this is going to spend um, 75. Oh, but this is only going to do it when these are mobilized. So this doesn't actually... This doesn't actually activate right away. I think. I think that's the way it goes. Let's, um... Let's check. And once we've, once we've set all these to being... Using what we want to use, we'll, uh... We'll, we'll check how the market has been affected. I just did Hasa Ordesu. Recon motorize, transport, truck transport. And then for the 8th Army, motorized and motorized. All right. So what has that done to the... Okay, so the car market is... Uh, under the effects of that already, and it has affected my finances. So, we'll go ahead and flip some of this other motor industry over to producing automobiles. Gosh, our, uh, our private sector has simply built motor industries everywhere. 
trying to keep up with the demand, which makes a certain degree of sense, but I'm not, uh, there's a reason not a lot of people use Dispersed Industry in Hearts of Iron 4, I tell you what. Let's have that just be the concentrated area ones for now, and then we'll see how things go. We'll do the ones in Isfahan as well. So once that gets running, what does that do to the car market? Alright, so they're producing. They're producing. We'll see if they produce more. Theory and practice. Several prominent positivist reformist reform advocates have become entangled in a dispute with the positivist church over their political activities. The orthodox stance of the church is that its members should not be carrying out political activities outside of itself. Two stacks of letters were on the director's desk. One from the clerics of the positivist church, and the other from a loose assortment of practitioners somewhere in the government. All of them were in one small group of subjects. Denouncement of this rival, support of this ally, a plea for support, or a warning to stay out of a ploy. He reached for the decanter of rum. Politics, it seems, is inherent to any church. The church is not the sole arbiter of the cause. Uh, Ottoman Empire gets political positivism. This makes academics, engineers, and officers stronger. Or, this practice represents a breach of positivist principles. Armed forces get stifling orthodoxy. Positive influence will retreat by ten. Uh, we're going to go with the second one, because we want to keep them not doing stuff. And they're at minus ten now, which is good for us. An Ottoman Woman's Travels. A popular set of travel writings by a female author have been published, lending support for the propertied women law. She's traveled all over on her own, and has said she even rides her horse frontwards like a man. What a great boon for our cause. This gives us 10% enactment chance. Maybe we could get a bigger publisher. Um, interesting. 33% chance of a backlash for minus 10%. 66% chance of 20% extra. There's no like, movement against this for now. I'm going to go... With, so that means there's not a stall chance. I'm going to go with the second one. Yes! All right, so that gets us up to 50%. Um, probably didn't need to risk that, but, you know, it is what it is. Massive war happening here in Europe, obviously. Um, again, I could hit the Suppress Positivist Organizations button, but so far I've been successful at keeping their progress down via events. So I'm... Uh, where's my... Where's my... I swear, I had an indicator of where they were at a second ago on here. Maybe they're just flatly at zero now, which is fine. And that's exactly where I want them. All right. Oil and made. Very good. How goes... Okay, so these motor industries are almost done. Cars are still increasing in output. They're going to increase in a, uh, a bunch more once Isfahan is ready to go. Um, that's, of course, completely reduced the number of engines that our market's producing. So we're going to need to continue to expand the motor industry, but that will be for another time. And now we're getting the barracks built up. Uh, this is going to take a long time and cost a lot of money, but at the end of it, we're going to be a lot stronger. Um, one thing I am going to do, though, is pull the fleets up to the top. Because fleets have a much larger impact on uh, power projection than armies do. And the thing about armies is... Uh, the thing about armies is the thing I want out of them is power projection because I want to continue to get stronger. A lot of my European rivals have actually pretty large fleets. Uh, so, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to counter that. Temples of Humanity. The Positivist Church of the Ottoman Empire has petitioned to be allowed to construct an additional church in Albania. Excuse me. The proposed Temple of Humanity will serve as an important node of positivist activities. There's already a temple in Constantinople, and now they want another in Tirana? Surely there would be an inquisition upon us all for this. I wouldn't worry. That's how, they sound like Catholics anyway. If there's an inquisition at all, they'll just take the priests and baptize them. Maybe that would be a real reason to attend Mass on Sunday. You don't attend Mass on Sunday? What does your mother think of this? It's interesting. Um, I feel like... Maybe we could localize this to an Islamic uh, state, but anyway. So there's no harm in it. This gives them ten influence and does the same things over there. Or they will not spread their disorder in Albania. Get into the second one. 
We're gonna keep uh we keep the okay, so they're back at minus ten. Yeah, we're just gonna keep uh we're just gonna keep repressing these positivists and uh I think it's gonna work out for us. So we should be getting a pretty significant increase in prestige from army uh power projection once uh these things get built. This afternoon, is it our Posley, leader of the Sunni Ulema, delivered a fiery speech advocating for the enactment of property women? Making an appearance before the public in Constantinople's main square, is it Arpazli's powerful rhetoric left even his most embittered political opponents impressed? Excerpts from the speech are already being circulated across the Ottoman Empire, fanning the fires of an already roaring debate. This should ease the path to reform greatly for a 15% enactment chance, or performances like this reflect well on Arpazli and his cause. I'm going to go with the first one. Um, this gives us reduced enactment chance, but it makes Arpazli and the Sunni Ulema more popular. I don't necessarily want that, so I'm going to do the first one. Just get us maximum enactment chance here. Um, all right. So, France is still embattled. Occitania. Weird. There's a breakaway French state. I don't know how that happened. Um, you know, despite everything, Germany continues to be uh, winning its wars. So, you know, let's go ahead and improve relations with them. Maybe an alliance with them will prove fruitful in the future. So, I think... How is the car market? Okay, the car is still pretty rough. A lot of pops buy cars. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's all pops. None of it was the government. I'm completely wrong. That's wild. Um, we got destroyers, so let's go ahead and grab our navies and upgrade the monitors. Okay, hold on. So... Right, all right, and then torpedo boats upgrade to destroyers. All right, so we'll do that. Interesting, but monitors don't. What do monitors upgrade to? So torpedo boats are... Offense, defense, convoy rating efficiency. Monitors are... Convoy Escort Defense, and then Destroyers are Convoy Escort Defense. So why do Torpedo Boats upgrade into Destroyers but Monitors don't? That's the thing that's confusing to me. But it is what it is. We're going to do it. Alright, and we're going to do the same for our other... Oh, but we can't because these ones are Monitors. Alright. That's so odd. I don't... I don't understand. Because um, they upgrade across classes. I feel like that's... I don't want to say that's necessarily a bug, but it is what it is. So what are we researching now? Now we're researching NCO training. So that's going to give us just a massive increase in overall military power. And that's going to finish in three years. I do wish to research the submarine. But we've gotta we gotta max out what we're uh, we're currently working on. Literacy is still increasing, and we've got an event: grassroots support for law. The political wills and desires of the lower classes will always remain an opaque matter. For whatever reason, support for property and women is spread like wildfire across the Ottoman Empire, spurred on by charismatic speeches and lively debates in small-time social clubs. They're backing what now? No, no way to complain. While their support was never a prerequisite for success, it sure doesn't hurt to have it either. Public enthusiasm expedites reform that makes the Sunni Ulema more popular, or uses common ground to calm the masses. We're starting pops in Albania and become more loyalist. I'm going to use the second one. Albania is pretty populous. So, still working on a large military expansion, but it's almost done here. Actually, a little disappointed that I. My rank is increasing, but not by as much as I thought it would be. 
I'm getting quite a bit from Army and Navy power projection. And our Navy power projection should be increasing. So, like, as you can see here, um, in terms of the comparison between Army and Navy power projection, we're getting about 500 from each, and our Army is way bigger than our Navy. Like, ridiculously so, in fact. I'm going to go ahead and hike military wages. It doesn't cost that much, and boy howdy is it worth it. Um, so as you can see, we've got 341 battalions uh, of armies and 105 flotillas of navies. Like, the difference is not even close. Oh boy. We got another, we got another activist here. Shukru Sabanchi. He's a vanguardist associated with the rural folk. Interesting. So vanguardism is, is uh, authoritarian communism. Um, so they support uh, council republic. Distro power, they're all about technocracy or single party state. Uh, economic system, they like command economy or cooperative ownership. Uh, and they're against laissez-faire and banned industry. Trade policy, they like protectionism and isolationism, which is interesting. Um, and land reform, they like collectivized agriculture. So that's pretty neat. We'll see how that goes. Oppressor and oppressed. As our industries have grown more and more crucial to the future of the Ottoman nation, so too has the working class. Disparate workers' movements have begun to unite under the cause for socialism. Okay, hold on. What's, what's going on over here? A lot of war goals going in. Ah, uh, I see. There's a capitalist revolt happening in the uh, British Republic. The development of modern industry, therefore, cuts from under its feet the very foundation of which the bourgeoisie produces and appropriates products. What the bourgeoisie, therefore, produces above all are its own grave diggers. Its fall and the victory of the proletariat are equally inevitable. A storm approaches. The present of laborers in eastern Thrace become more uh, radical. Okay, so the specter haunting the world. The rising prevalence of socialist unrest within the Ottoman Empire has begun to coalesce into a movement that threatens the rule of the upper classes. Uh, struggle between classes has acquired a sharper edge as Ottoman workers adopt the methods and principles of the socialist movement. The voices of the proletariat cry out for liberty, equality, and for bread. For equality and for bread, workers of the world unite. Socialist unrest is expected to progress by 9.43 next month. Um, so... It's mostly based on turmoil. Interesting. Uh, wow, that's going really fast. So if failed, triggers a world to win. Communist, anarchist, and vanguardist characters will appear much more frequently. If time runs out, triggers the event firebreak. Socialist movements will be weakened in the near future. Okay, so we're not necessarily going this way. So we're going to need some... Uh, law enforcement institutions, and in order to make that happen, we're going to need... Okay, hold on. Uh, we're going to need to get our government to increase our, our, our overall level of administration. Because um, we need to get those state... Okay, but where have we got... Uh, where have we got turmoil? There should be a lens. No? Literally, loyalists, radicals, states. No turmoil lens. That's wild. Um, well, all right. Let's see if we can't identify our locations. Okay, so we got quite a bit in Bulgaria. Quite a bit in Europe. Okay, that's not shocking. Um, because those pops are discriminated. Uh, we're basically good in the Ottoman homeland, in Anatolia, in Persia. We're more or less good. Not doing so great in Kerman. No labor available there. Okay, Arabian Peninsula. Not doing so well in Maid either. Doing pretty bad in Oman, actually. Uh, Oman needs industrial expansion, so let's go ahead and 
It's always worthwhile to get some oil. Oil is very cheap in the Honor Empire, and a lot of people are buying it. So yeah, let's get some oil going in here. And we need ports. Uh, need build up oil industry here. I'll, s I'll sell all y'all oil. Don't even think I won't. Um, we definitely need to build up ports. I'm going to max out ports in Lower Egypt. My true... No labor available to speak of. Um, Konya's got a pretty solid population, so we'll build up some ports there. Um, Arabistan has plenty of population available, so that's another good place to build ports. And I'm doing this because we're exporting a lot of oil right now. <laughs> Can Tabriz build ports? It's on the Caspian Sea. Lake? That's not a lake that, well... Is the Caspian Sea freshwater or saltwater? I don't... I don't actually know. I do not actually know. So, uh, I guess I'm not going to worry about it. But in any case, it looks like I can't build ports here. Anyway, that should be enough ports for now. Uh, so, Bengal is in a diplomatic play against Great Ching. And Russia is supporting Great Ching. So, this will put us in a war against Russia. They want Fujian... Zhejiang and Jiangxi. They want a bunch of provinces over here. You know, I don't... I don't desire this. Oh, right. I completely forgot. We were going to build up... Uh... Well, no, I mean, I don't... I don't, I don't think I can outrun this. This is a lot. It doesn't tell me which states. If I... If I cut a... Well, I can't afford to cut these, though. And raising taxes, of course, is not going to help. You know what? I'm just going to let this play out. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not concerned about communists for the moment. You know, if it happens, it happens. East African capitalist revolt. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> That's right, because French East Africa is just uh, Madagascar there. Oh, would you look at that? South Africa is actually South Africa. Military science. The practical and scientific nature of positivism, is, positivism has led to the growing popularity of positivist thought in the armed forces. Many professors and officers and the Ottoman military academies have begun to embrace the philosophy. Through rational observation and a personal understanding, a leader can whittle the engines of war to a finely tuned calculation, a precise calculation of which artillery can put the right amount of ammunition on a target, with variables accounted for, with maximum effect and minimal casualties. Men supplied and armed with exactly what they would need, plus a little extra, and just enough motivation to storm a fort. Wars of the far future may become bloodier, but at least they will be efficient. A strong foundation for a new military doctrine, 10% extra research speed, but the positivists can influence, or the academy should embrace this trend further. Armed forces stronger, but only 5% research speed. Positivists will acquire influence among armed forces academies. I'm going to do the first one, because uh, I like military research speed, particularly because I'm trying to rush a uh, an overstrong technology to increase my military. And then nobody will be able to stand against me. Yeah, once you got squad infantry, it's a little bit of a joke. Um, so yes, as you can see, our military expansion has given us a big old prestige bump. Not Again, not as big a one as I... Well, it, this is kind of a phantom prestige bump because Britain is in the midst of a, uh, a civil war right now. 
Mm. They will not accept. I really would love to have Scotland as my uh, protectorate. Socialist demagogue. Shukru Sabanshi in, of the rural folk is rapidly gaining popularity among the people. The radical socialist message of equality he espouses is proving especially appealing to the lower classes. Comrades, the time for action is now. Why should we toil and squalor while the boss grows rich and fat off our labor? Why should the meager pennies we earn go to the greedy landlord who tells us we should be grateful for our miserable shacks? Inspirational. Makes him way more popular. I thought you had an option for a counter play on that one, but apparently not. Sealand strategies will be really nice and would not cost us all that much at all. So I think as we get NCO training, that does unlock NCO incorporation and then also squad infantry. So this should be a massive port expansion we're in the process of doing here. And I'm hoping that that will provide additional jobs and uh, make everything better for my people. Um, let's continue to export as much oil as we can because everyone loves oil, tasty, tasty oil. Is the Suez Canal... No, still? Gosh. Yeah, man, I don't know how to get that to happen. I'm not gonna lie. Interesting. Transvaal is a protectorate of the USA, which is surprising and strange. In any case, though, um, that is all we've got time for for tonight. Uh, I've had a good time. I hope you all have had a good time. And I'll see you all on the other side.